So here are some of the items I'll be using to, on this short uh, video. Got my map gas there, the torch right next to it. Got my flux brush to fit in the pipe and some tools to clean the pipe. Got some mesh there, some wool. Got a cutter here in the uh, bottom right. Didn't use it for this particular video. And I got lead-free tinning flux. It has a uh, solder powder in it, which makes the flow of the, uh, or enhances the flow of the uh, solder as the, as, as the flux sucks it into the uh, area where you want it. So here I'm using this tool to clean the outside of the uh, copper pipe. You can use for ha half inch and three quarter inch. And it has brushes at the end to clean the inside. So here I'm cleaning the inside. I'm going to clean the inside. There I got the mesh. You can use sandpaper if you want. As long as you keep the, uh, the fitting in the pipe clean inside and out. There I'm cleaning the inside of the pipe. And this is a deburring tool here. In case you make a cut, you want to make sure there's no burrs inside the uh, pipe that might affect the uh, soldering process, if not in the present and the future. So I'm not adding too much flux here. This particular flux supposedly doesn't turn green. Because the regular flux, if you put too much, it can corrode the pipe in the, in the future. And you could have some leaks. So here I try to put the heat mostly on the uh, fitting itself. It's got the flux, of course, in there. And then every once in a while here I test it to see if it's got enough heat to, to melt the uh, solder. Not yet. I put the heat in one side and then I put the uh, solder in the other side and the heat is supposed to suck it. Flux is that the uh, solder is supposed to move toward the heat, and of course the flux will suck suck it into the fitting and make the uh, connection. Okay, you can see it there; it's working. And I really don't have to go all the way around here. Once it starts sucking it in, it'll cover it. And for half, this is a half inch pipe, so I need about half an inch or so. And when I uh, Started, I, I took, I bent half an inch on this uh, solder, and that's about what I'm using. Now, at the end of the video, I go ahead and desolder this to make sure that it did take. Now, here, here I'm using a, a dry cloth. I don't want to put anything cold. I've seen, I've seen some pros tell you don't, don't. Uh, with cold water or a cold uh, cloth, wait till it cools off. So here, it, here, it, here is a dry, dry cloth. I let it sit there. I, of course, I speeded up the video, but I let it sit there for about uh, three or four minutes, and then I did come back with a uh, wet cloth. But you can see this one not, is not that uh, dirty as far as the. Uh, Flux. You don't want the flux to stay there because again, normal flux over time will turn green and corrode the pipe. Now this is this is a, a uh, wet cloth. So 
I don't want to leave any flux. Now I'm looking at this. I don't know if you can tell, but it pretty much covered in some areas more than others. But like I said, I'm going to des I'm going to desolder it so we can take a good look and see if it took. Now this next thing I'm doing is if you have a setup in your in your uh, outdoor faucets and, and say they're soldered and you want to go with the easy way to do it either with shark bite or this this setup where you can thread it in you can do this now this is here's where I already de desoldered it it took me about three minutes to apply the heat and you can see I'm going to rotate this all the way around several times and there's silver all the way around it which means it took Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.